Hello, welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this very nice looking diagram. All right. So to begin, we're going to be using a red theme. All right. So I'm going to be listing out the RGB color code of this red color, or you can just do yours. Okay. But if you need it, it's going to be there. So this is it for the base color. All right. So I'm going to say, okay, and I'm going to hit alt backspace okay that's gonna change our base color all right so now i need the building in front okay to be white so i'm gonna go and select the layer and i'm gonna hit ctrl i that will invert it all right so I, I i feel like we need to make this in a little bit deeper i'm gonna like select this and i'm gonna like take it down a notch so make sure that the the color you want to apply is underneath so when you hit the old backspace it is going to make it a little bit darker all right so i'm going to select the two layers and i'm going to merge them by pressing ctrl e on the keyboard now it's time for us to use the paint bucket to to paint our building the way we want it the first instance is to paint where the building is cut so i'm going to go and find my paint bucket tool okay so I'm going to leave it at 100% opacity and I'm going to use it here. Now make sure that the selected white is selected because that's what I want to use. All right. So, okay. Here. In here. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change the opacity to 50 and with that we're going to paint the all the walls that are facing in this direction. So after that I'm going to change the opacity to 20. I'm going to cover the other side. And then the next one, I'm going to change this to like, okay, five. Let me see how that looks. That will be for my glasses. No, 10 is better, I think. Let's make it 10. Make this 15. Okay. Uh -huh. So yeah, back to let's let's do 20. Let's apply it on this floor. Okay. And then on that floor. And on this floor. Then, sorry. Now I want us to like get a deeper color for some part of the you know the floors. So um but then this 20 we're going to apply it on, on other places as well, like here. Okay. Make it 10. All right, so I'm going to select this, that's the RGB, okay? So I'm going to put it at 50, hit enter, okay? I think that is not enough, I'm going to make it 70, yeah, that's better. All right, 
so for this top two i'm going to use it for those places here too here too Top of here too. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Now we're going to bring in the textures. Okay. With the texture, we're now going to make it, you know, have more character, more charisma. All right. So I'm just gonna drag this one in, like so. Now I'm going to rotate it, holding shift so that it will snap to angles. I'm going to hold and shift. I'm going to drag it across the screen. I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to set it to multiply. Okay. Now it is too strong. The opacity is too strong, so I'm going to reduce the opacity to say 25. No, that's too soft. Let's make it 50. Okay, it's getting there. Let's make it uh, 65. Okay. All right. So all these links, I'm going to attach them in the description. Okay, do well to download them. Okay, that's if you need them. If you have your own special texture, you can use it as well. It's all good. Now, so the, the next thing I want us to do is add a little bit of character to this um, our scene by adding trees. So I'm going to go select the brush. Okay. I'm going to select this brush. And I'm going to add a layer on, on top. So I'm going to reduce the size of this. Okay. So our tree is going to be white. So do where to change the color to white. Okay. So like that. I'm going to be switching between these two. Let's go ahead and put like a little bit of human being. All right, so let's add human. I want to add it on a different layer so I can easily make changes to them in future if I want to. So I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit like so. All right. Yep. Okay. okay. I'm going to put one tree here. Yes. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to see you in the next one. Ciao.